Yoga Club Well, zippity doo da and hello to you. Welcome to Yoga Club. We've got a wonderful set of videos today, all to help you manage your energy, because I know you are a supersonic kid. Sometimes we feel like we are ready to burst with energy. Well, I know these videos will help you find some balance so you don't pop. <laughs> Let's get started with a good dance and bounce around with our hot air ballooning disco. I'll see you after for some shout outs. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Hot Air Ballooning, where we do our hot air balloon move. Ready? Now it's time to stand up straight, we've got to go, we can't be late, we're moving, no snoozing, today we go hot air ballooning. Roll your shoulders round and round, lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two, going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's hop and jump in. Then we wave and start to sing. La! Now cross your legs and sit down. Cup your hands around your mouth and blow it up good and big. Now we're soaring through the sky. Rock a rock a rock a bye. We're moving, no snoozing. Today we go hot air ballooning. 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 Now it's time to land on the ground. Back to earth, safe and sound. Tuck up small like a mouse. We made it back to our house. Hot air ballooning. The energy flowing didn't it let's catch our breath with some hellos and some messages first to amaya who is seven and a half and from india i hope you had a wonderful birthday on the 11th of january and your new baby brother or sister might be with you now or maybe soon the little mermaid is a great idea for a new adventure i promise it's on my list and to answer your questions, my birthday is on the 20th of May and I am 42. Thanks for writing, Amaya, and Minnie and Spence say hi too. Another big hello to Gracie, who is four and starts every day with yoga. Well, well, that is brilliant, Gracie. Well done, you. I hear you've even convinced big brother Brody, who is 11, to join you. Keep going, Brody. I'm glad to hear you enjoy the frozen yoga so much and you keep in enjoying it. Right, let's now whiz into the life of a blue hedgehog called Sonic and see how he manages that incredible energy of his. I'll see you after for a couple more shout outs. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. 
Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's take a look through our ring-shaped cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining our thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Ooh, look at the colours. Look at the shapes spinning around and around. Oh, can you see the picture? Yes, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. What's Sonic doing? He's dancing and he's, and he's spinning around with rings going everywhere. Oh, this is amazing. Lowering our hands, everyone. We're going to have a Sonic the Hedgehog yoga adventure. That's why I've got my Sonic the Hedgehog quills. And that's why we're here on Sonic's home island. Now, as we all know, Sonic is a blue hedgehog. So let's begin with a hedgehog pose. We come up onto our knees and we fold all the way forwards. Now we bring our hands behind our back and we point up our fingers like they're our pointy bright blue hedgehog quills. Amazing, well done everyone. Now coming all the way up to sit and all the way up to stand. Now Sonic was born with an extraordinary power, that of supersonic speed. All right, Sonic, ready for some yoga? Oh, wow, that was quick. Well, the sun is shining here today on Sonic's hometown island, so let's get our bodies warmed up and ready for a run. We reach up to the sun, wave at the sun and say, hello, sun. Now we fold all the way forwards and we wave down at that beautiful earth and we say, hello, earth. We step one leg all the way back and come into our sonic runner's pose. Vroom, vroom. Now we take our other foot back. We drop down onto our knees and lower all the way down onto our tummies, untucking our toes. We roll our shoulders back and lift ourselves up to be a pointy blue hedgehog quill. Bing! Now we tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky, coming into our dog pose, our chilli dog pose. That's Sonic's favourite food. We lift our foot all the way up and we step it between our hands, coming into our Sonic Runner's Lunge again. Vroom, vroom. Now, let's try a Sonic Side Angle Pose. Seeing if we can lift our hands and come to face the front, we turn our toes to the side and bend our knee. Now, we rest our elbow and forearm down onto our thigh and we sweep our top arm up and over our heads, coming into our Sonic Side Angle Pose. Well done, everyone. Now, let's see if we can do it on the other side. Coming up to stand, arms wide, we turn our toes to face the other way now and we bend our knee. We put our elbow on our forearm, down on our thigh and we take our top arm up and over our head, seeing if we can look up under our arm. Amazing, well done everyone. Now we twist to the side and we come into our sonic runner's lunge again. Vroom, vroom. We step our feet together, wave down at the beautiful earth and we say, hello, earth. We roll up to stand, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Wow, I feel electric now, ready to go for a sonic style run. But let's begin with a spin attack to build up some speed. Coming to sit on our bottoms, we hug our knees in and we squash a tomato under our chin. Now we rock all the way back and all the way up to stand. After three, here we go. One, two, three. Whoop! Woo! Up we come and reach. Well done, everyone. Now we begin to run around in a circle as fast as we can. Here we go. Running with supersonic speed. 
faster and faster with a blue blur coming behind us. We're going so fast. Now Sonic can also run on the walls. Let's have a go at doing that. Coming to lie on our sides. We bring our hand under our head and our other hand in front for some support. We lift up our legs and we run like we're running on the walls. How cool. He can also run upside down. Let's have a go at doing that. We lie on our backs, crisscross our fingers, put them behind our heads and lift up our legs. And let's run on the sky. Here we go. Wow, supersonic sky running. This is awesome. We come up to sit and cross our legs. Now, here on Sonic's hometown island, he has a guardian and mentor called Longclaw, who is a very wise owl. Let's try our owl pose. Coming onto our knees, we bring our hands down and we lift all the way up saying, twit, and all the way down saying, too. Very good, everyone. Now, as I mentioned before, Sonic's favorite food, his favorite snack in the whole world, is chili dogs. Let's see how they taste. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we fold all the way forwards, resting our elbows down, trying to keep our bottoms planted on the floor. Now let's gobble up some yummy chili dogs. Oh, goodness me, they're delicious. We rub a hand on our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Hmm, maybe we should eat them a bit slower next time. Goodness me. Now, let's use one of Sonic's magic rings and transport ourselves to another place. We come up to stand, jump our feet wide, take our arms wide, and we spin a ring. Here we go, spinning side to side. The magical ring appears and a portal door opens inside it. Let's do our portal door pose. Coming down onto two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky. We open it up with a... Look, on the other side we can see Sonic's cave on planet Earth. Let's come up to stand and do our cave pose. Feet wide, arms wide, hands up above our head. Now, here in Sonic's cave, he is living his best life. He has everything he needs here. He has his whole library of comic books. Let's do our comic book pose. Sitting on our bottoms, bending our knees, we take our legs out wide and hold onto our toes to flutter our legs like the pages of our comic book. And we read at supersonic speed. Ooh, just like Sonic. Very good, everyone. Now, Sonic also has his own home gym here in his cave. He likes to take a run in the washing machine. Let's do our washing machine pose. Crossing our legs, we crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads. Now we twist from side to side, saying, Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wow, that was fun. Sonic also likes playing guitar. He rocks out playing his guitar. So let's have a play. Taking our legs out long in front of us, we pick up one of our legs using our opposite hand, maybe holding it underneath our ankle as we bring it across our body. Now we stretch our other arm all the way back behind us. And after three, let's strum a great big rock chord. Ready? One, two, three. Wow! That was amazing. Let's try it on the other side. Putting that foot down, picking up the other one now, bringing it across our body, holding onto our ankle. We stretch our other arm back behind us. After three, let's play that chord again. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Fantastic, everyone. Popping our foot all the way down. Now, Let's use another magic ring and transport ourselves to somewhere Sonic loves, the baseball pitch. Coming up to stand, jumping our feet wide, arms wide, we spin a ring. Here we go, spinning side to side. Wow, the magic ring appears and a portal door opens once again inside it. Let's use our portal door pose, down onto two knees, leg to the side, 
arm to the sky and through we go. And we're here at the baseball pitch coming up to stand. Now, Sonic is so speedy, he can play every position on the pitch at the same time. He begins batting. Let's do our batting pose. Turning to the side, we bend our knees a little bit and we take our arms in front of us like we're holding our baseball bat. Now we swing it back over our shoulder and we look towards the pitcher. Bottom of the ninth tie score and exactly who you want at the plate with the game on the line, Sonic. Next, he's the pitcher. Standing up nice and tall, we balance on one leg. Oh, trying not to wobble. We take the ball in one hand and we have our glove in the other hand and we put the ball in the glove. We eyeball our target, staring him down from the pitcher's mound, the most fearsome southpaw in Green Hills, also Sonic. Next, he's the catcher, coming into our catcher's position, turning to the front, feet a little bit wider. We bend all the way down into a little squat position. Now, preparing to catch, Sonic gets himself ready by patting his face, by playing the armpit trumpet, and by doing some funny hand signals. Hat, elbow, one, two, three, wipe. Good job, everyone. Ready to catch. Now, after pitching the ball and hitting the ball, Sonic begins to run. Coming up to stand, he runs around the bases, running on the spot as fast as we can. He makes first base, then second base, and third base before he becomes the coach and cheers himself on, jumping up and down. Here we go. Go home! Go home! He then fields the ball, coming down onto one knee, leaning all the way down to pick it up. He stretches back and throws it to himself to try and catch himself out. But right at the last moment, Sonic reaches up to the sky. He swan dives all the way forwards, drops down onto his tummy, stretches his arms and his legs up in the air, and he slides to make the home run. Woohoo! Coming up to stand, legs wide, arms wide, Sonic high fives himself. Let's try that by clapping our hands above our head. Ready? One, two, three. Well done, everyone. Feeling super proud. We're ready to return back to Sonic's hometown island. Let's spin a final ring. Arms wide, here we go. Spin, side to side to side. Once again, the portal door opens, coming down onto our two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and we step through and we sit down on our bottoms with our legs crossed. What a fun adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog. He's got so much power and energy that he needs to make sure he rests and has a good sleep to balance all that super sonic speed. Let's join him now for a little bit of that relaxation. We lie down on our backs. Ah, and we let our bodies become lovely and still. Ah. Our arms and legs feel heavy, all floppy, like spaghetti. What an awesome adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog. He has so much power and energy that he has to take care of it and use it wisely. So to be the best he can be, he needs to make sure that he rests, he relaxes, and he has some calm time too, to balance it all out so that he really can be the best he can be. This is very important for us too. We need to balance out our energy, make sure that we have plenty of rest and relaxation time to make the most of those times when we're the most active. So practice being calm as much as you practice being excited and full of energy, that balance will keep us healthy and will keep us strong. Slowly now, we begin to wake up, 
wiggling our toes and wiggling our fingers. We hug our knees into our chest and we roll onto our sides, opening our eyes and coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. We finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, you were amazing, awesome in the Sonic the Hedgehog yoga adventure. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Welcome back. I hope you had fun with Sonic. A couple more shout outs now. And remember, if you want a shout out, just email it, email me at yoga club at cosmickids.com. I will give you a shout out. You just have to tune into the yoga clubs and yours will be in one of them soon after you write. So hello and happy birthday to Alex in Texas, who was three on the 30th of December. I hope you had a wonderful day, Alex. I love hearing that you enjoy looking through your cosminoculars in the yoga and you do yoga with your mum. Oh, thanks for your brilliant picture of the jack-o'-lantern. It's great hearing that the Ruby Broom episode is your favourite. Hello to Nora, who is five, and thanks for the idea to do an Olaf the Snowman yoga adventure. That would be super fun. Thanks, Nora. Now to our next video, and after, we'll have one more special shout out. Hello, it's Jamie here from Cosmic Kids. I'm here to talk about our app, the safest place to view our videos. This is basically our very own walled garden. It gives you unlimited streaming of all our videos and we make sure there are no ads, no funny links and no suggested videos. To sign up, head to app.cosmickids.com, pick a monthly or an annual subscription and then you get a two week free trial to see if you like it. Every single video we've ever made is on there and all our new and future videos too. We organise all our videos into helpful playlists, making it super easy to find your way around. You can watch it on your computer or phone using your web browser or by downloading any of the apps which are included in your subscription. And we have these apps for iPhone, iPad, Android, Apple TV, Roku and Amazon Fire TV. You can view the videos offline on phones and tablets. Just click to download the video to your Watch Later playlist and watch it whenever you want. This is perfect if you want the peace of mind that your kids aren't connected to the internet. You can also autoplay your favourite videos back to back. Just set the kids up with a Marathon Cosmic Kids session and you can leave them to it. I hope that you love what we're doing with Cosmic Kids and this has helped you understand a little more about the Cosmic Kids app. It is the safest place to view our content and the best way to support us too. Wishing you all the best from the team here at Cosmic Kids. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back. If you don't already, pop on over to Cosmic Kids app for loads more videos. If you are watching on the app right now, I hope you enjoyed that Wild West super yoga. Yeehaw! So one more hello for our yoga club and that goes to Leo who uses the Cosmic Kids app most days. Wow, well done Leo. Leo is six, is from Portland, Oregon and has a cracking idea for a new yoga adventure, one he created himself, which I absolutely love Leo. Leo's story is about the Marchica lens, which I am so excited to hear more about. Do tell me what happens in the story, Leo, and we'll see if we can do an original yoga adventure about it. Thanks so much for writing in with your idea and a big hello to your whole lovely family. Now, we have a few more supersonic videos for you to enjoy in this yoga club. You have fun and I will see you next time for more yoga club fun. Bye! Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe.
surfer pose. Standing with your feet wide, front toes point forwards, back toes point to the side. Now bend into your front knee and stretch your arms out nice and wide, like you're washing along, riding the waves like an awesome surfer. Now I wonder if we can surf backwards. Let's jump and surf the other way. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Wow, we are awesome surfers. Let's do some more. Now, surfer pose is really good for opening your chest and shoulders and your hips and making you feel supercharged for your day. Whoa, let's do a little bit more. That was exhausting, dude. Surfer pose. Today we are going to stir up our bodies to get rid of any creaky tension from being still and to help our minds feel clear and fresh and ready for whatever's next. Now come to stand in a space and if you've got shoes on it might be nice to take them off so that you can feel your feet on the ground. So pause the video if you need to get your shoes off. Right, let's begin. Come up onto one toe and see if you can roll around on that toe a few times going round and around and around. Yes, like a dancer. Let's try the other one. Go round and over the top and underneath. Yeah, it might crick and cleek a little bit, but that's okay. Now, let's bring those feet to still and then lift up one of your feet. Oh, try not to wobble and take your ankle around and around in a circle. Yes, stir up that ankle and the other way. Nice. Now, bring that foot back to stand and lift up your other foot. Oop, try not to wobble, find your balance and then take your ankle around and around in a circle and the other way. It's okay to wobble a little bit, it's good because it helps you learn how to balance. Excellent. Now put that foot down and lift up your other foot now. We're going to do our knee, so we're just going to hinge from our knee and let it swing. Yes. Now don't worry if you hear any little clicks or creaks, that's fine, it's just loosening itself up and bring your foot back to the ground and the other side. Kicking it forwards and backwards, trying to keep your thigh nice and still as you do this. Yes, excellent. And popping it back to the ground. Now the footballers stretch to open up our hips. We lift up one of our legs, find our balance. We take our leg to the side and we bring it in. Then we start to swing it, swing it out and in. Keep your balance and if you need to, hold on to a desk or a wall or something so that you stay balanced. Otherwise, try and stay strong and do it free. Yes, there we go. And the other side. Lift up your other foot, find your balance, bring it in, bring it out and start to swing. That's it, opening your hips, wobbling a little bit. Yeah, opening that hip up nice and loose. Excellent. And then bring it to stop. Now, take your feet a little bit wider, bring your hands onto your hips. We're going to get right into our hips now by going round in a big circle one way, stirring it up one way, and then the other way, all the way round. Excellent. Keep going, a couple more. Nice, and come to stand. Now take your feet out a little bit wider. We come to our waist, take your arms wide, we start to spin. Now check that you haven't got anyone too close to you, so move it into some space if you are a bit close to someone so that you don't clonk each other's hands. That's it. Now, once you've got the space, start to build a bit of momentum and swing yourself round from side to side, maybe lifting up your onto your toe of each alternate foot as you spin. You might even like to close your eyes as you do this and notice how you feel. Notice how your arms and your fingers feel. Feel the blood pulsing around. 
that's it. And slowly come to stop. Excellent. Now, our ribs. Bring your hands onto your hips. And now see if you can keep your shoulders and your hips nice and still as you move your ribs one way. Come to the middle and go to the other side. It's quite a small move. Come to the middle. One side, middle, side. Now see if you can just go side to side. Yeah. And see if you can go forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And now all the way round in a circle. That's it. And the other way. All the way round. Excellent. Now let's take it to our fingers. Bring your fingers out in front of you and play a piano like you're playing it really crazily. Fingers going mad. That's it. And your thumbs. Yep. Oh, wow. Amazing pianists we all are. Wonderful. And now let's get into our wrists. So we roll our wrists around and around. We need to look after our wrists and our fingers so that we get really good handwriting and so that we can do cartwheels and handstands and things like that and go around the other way as well. That's it, all the way around. Now, press your hands forward like you're pressing against a wall. Make your hands as flat as can be. Yes. And then relax them and then turn them upside down and pretend like you're pressing the wall but the upside down way. Yeah, that's it. Press, 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 press. Fingers as long as they can be and bring them in. Now, bring your arms up so your elbows are up shoulder height and swing your, your arms, your forearms like you're a scarecrow. This is getting your elbows going. Yes, maybe go all the way around. Woohoo! Really stirring up those elbows. Excellent. Now bring your arms down to the sides and let's get into our shoulders. Rolling your shoulders all the way up and round. Yes, round one way and then forwards. That's it. Excellent. Now we're going to get into some guitar arms. So step one, one foot forward, one foot back and take one arm out. Take your other arm to the side. And again, check that you've got the room to do this, that you're not going to clonk into anyone behind you or in front of you. So move into some space and start to play your guitar. Yeah, that's it. Swinging it around. And the other way, all the way forwards too. Fantastic. There we go, shoulders nice and open. Let's try the other side. Bring your other foot forward, your other foot back, arm forward like your guitar, and then start to swing it round. That's it, find some momentum, really opening it up and loosening it out, and the other way, all the way. There we go. Now, we're gonna try something rather hard. Come into the middle, take both arms up. We're gonna start by going backwards with one arm, just like you were before, but do it slowly. Okay, now what I want you to do is see if you can take your other arm forwards so they meet in the middle, yeah? It's again right-left brain, but once you practice a bit, you get it. Yeah, that's it. And now let's bring them both up. Now, here's the hard bit. We're going to try and swap. So take the other arm all the way around like it's going backwards this time. That's it. And take the other arm forwards. Woo! Yes, coordination central. That's us. Going for this move. Ooh, we'll get there. Well done, everyone. And slowly come to stop. Excellent. Now, let's not forget our necks. Take your chin down to your chest and roll your head all the way around one way. And all the way around the other way. Opening your mouth as you go over the top to just really help get that stretch all the way around. And last time. And come back to the middle. Now, faces. Chew like you've got some toffee in your mouth. Really big piece of toffee. I really have to chew it. Ah, that's better. Now yawn as big as you can. Ah. Excellent, and open your mouth as wide as it'll go. Yeah, very good everyone. Finally, rub your hands together really, really fast so you make a fire in your hands. So they're super hot, 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 hot. Get them even hotter. Keep rubbing, rub, 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 rub. Keep going. And when you think they can't get any hotter, rub a little bit more. Yeah, keep going, that's it. And when you've got them as hot as can be, cup them over your eyes. Now open your eyes in the darkness of your hands and allow them to drink in the warmth from your hands. Ah, oh, 
so soothing, so good for your brain. We slowly lower our arms down to the sides and we stand, feeling full of fresh blood cells, ready for whatever's next. Have a good day. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Bear walks, coming down onto our hands and knees and spreading our fingers nice and wide. We tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky. Now come high up onto your tippy toes and walk like you're a bear, walking through the forest, looking for some nice tasty berries. Mmm! Now bear walks are very good for releasing your lower back. So if you've been sitting down for a while, this is a brilliant pose to do. Mm, yes, I've seen him too. But don't worry, keep calm and keep bear walking. He'll just think we're his bear friend. Bear walks. Today we're talking about choices, your choices, and how you make smart choices. Every day you make lots of choices, like who shall I play with at break time? Or what book shall I read at bedtime? Or shall I colour in the picture of the monster with a purple colouring pencil or a red one? Hmm. Lots of choices. And we usually make them very quickly, without thinking too much about them. We just choose the thing that feels right and do it. Let's talk about a couple of times where your choice of what you do can make a big difference. How your choice can really affect how you and the people around you feel, depending on what you choose. OK, here's one. You lose a game that you're playing against your brother, like a game of Connect Four. What would you do when this happens? Let's face it, it can feel quite tough losing. Without stopping to think, it might be really tempting to say something horrible or do something <laughs> which isn't that nice. But actually, you have more choices than that. You can choose exactly how to deal with this situation. What you do is up to you. The key to being able to choose well is not to choose immediately. We need a second to stop and breathe and let the big feeling that's making us want to explode pass. And then we choose. The way I like to do this is by thinking of a traffic light. If something happens and it makes the frustrated, annoyed feelings inside start to bubble up, like you're going to say something or shout or do something that probably won't be very nice, think red light. Stop. Stop talking. Do nothing. Now the light changes to amber as you take one or maybe two deep breaths. They don't have to look big. A breath in and out can be nearly silent. What makes them deep is that you do them on purpose and you focus on the breathing as it comes in and goes out. Then your brain and the feeling will calm down a bit and the wise owl in your mind can help you figure out what your choices are here. The green light pops on so you can then make the choice that will make you and those around you feel better rather than worse. Let's look at another situation you might find yourself in and try out the traffic light idea to see how it gives us other choices we can make. <laughs> 